Hi students, welcome to today's class. In the yesterday's class, I have explained about you about the continuity of a function at a point. The continuity of a function at a point, how to check the function is continuous or not. Okay, now at a point. Now, based on this, yesterday we did uh, some problems. In the today's class also, we are going to discuss uh, very few problems based on that topic. Okay, now. So, here it is given that if modulus of f of x is less than or equal to mod x for all x belongs to R, then prove that f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0. So, we have to prove that f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0. That means, ultimately what you have to prove? Limit extends to 0, f of x is equal to f of 0. This result we have to prove. Okay, now. So, let us continue the problem. First, it is given that modulus of f of x is less than or equal to modulus of x. Let us substitute x is equal to 0 why? because here x belongs to real numbers. So, this is equal to modulus of 0 is less than or equal to mod 0 that is modulus of 0 is less than or equal to 0. Modulus of is less than or equal to 0 means it cannot be whatever may be the modulus value less than or equal to that means it cannot be less than 0 it will be 0 that is modulus of 0 is equal to 0. Modulus of x is equal to 0 means what? x is equal to 0. Modulus of x is equal to 0 means f of 0 is equal to 0. Put it like that. So, from the result, so where when you substitute x is equal to 0, we got that f of 0 is equal to 0. Now, coming to this problem, modulus of any real number is greater than or equal to 0, whether it should be 0 or more than 0. So, from this we can write the result 0 less than or equal to modulus of f of x less than or equal to mod x. Okay, now that means modulus of f of x is greater than or equal to 0. Now, we got a inequality here. Now, let us apply the sandwich theorem. Sandwich theorem. Okay, now let us apply here. With the limit extends to 0. So, limit extends to 0, 0 less than or equal to, limit extends to 0 modulus of f of x less than or equal to, limit extends to 0 mod x. Okay, now, right. So, this value is 0. So, this is equal to 0 less than or equal to, limit extends to 0 modulus of f of x less than or equal to, limit extends to 0 mod x, both left hand side right limit, right hand side limit both are 0. So, from this we conclude that limit x tends to 0 modulus of f of x is equal to 0. Limit x tends to 0 modulus of f of x is equal to 0 from that. Already 0 means what? f of 0 in place of 0. Can I write down f of 0? Yes, I can write. So, this implies limit x tends to 0 modulus of f of x is equal to f of 0. Limit x tends to 0 modulus of f of x is equal to f of 0. From this, we can write down the modulus like this. Limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0. Limit x tends to 0. We can write the modulus outside. So, limit x tends to 0 mod of f of x is equal to f of 0. So, this implies limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to plus or minus 0. Limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to plus or minus f of 0. So, we got already plus f of 0. Okay, now already it is there in the plus f of 0. Hence, the function is continuous at x is equal to 0. So, from this we can conclude that limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0. Okay, we can conclude that from this. Okay, we got the result. Okay, so like that in a systematically, logically we have to prove that the function is continuous at x is equal to 0. It is a one of the very nice problems. So, let us see this type of problems. Welcome to this uh, theoretically based problem. A function f of x satisfies the functional relation 
f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y for all real numbers x and y. Now, we have to show that the function is continuous for all x. The function is continuous for all x if it is continuous at x is equal to 1. Therefore, there is a function it is satisfying a functional relation f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y that is satisfying that functional relation and that is the first thing. Second information which is given that it is continuous at x is equal to 1. It is continuous at x is equal to 1. Those are the two informations given. Now, what we have to show that the function is continuous for all x. For all x belongs to any number. That means what we have to prove that first we will write down. What we have to prove? We have to prove this thing. A limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a. This we have to prove. Limit extends to a f of x is equal to for all x belongs to for all x means what? x c whatever may be the number you take limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a. Understand that we have to prove. A is any arbitrary number. A is any arbitrary number that we have to take. Now, the first information is given is what? The first information is solution. Let us see the solution. It is given that f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y. The function is continuous at x is equal to 1. That means what? Limit extends to 1 f of x is equal to f of y limit extends to 1 f of x is equal to f of 1. Limit extends to 1 f of x means what? It is both left hand side derivative and right hand side derivative are equal. So, this implies limit extends to 1 minus f of x is equal to limit extends to 1 plus f of x is equal to f of 1. Left hand side derivative to right hand side derivative to at x is equal to 1 both are equal. Now, as x tends to 1 minus, let us convert it into h infinitesimals. So, this implies limit h tends to 0, f of this can be written as 1 minus h. Okay, now 1 minus h. Limit h tends to 0, this is a 1 plus h is equal to f of 1. Okay, now. Let us use make use of this functional relation. So, f of x plus y is equal to f of x into f of y. This also 1 plus of minus h. So, this can be written as a limit h tends to 0 f of 1 into f of minus h. Limit h tends to 0 f of 1 into f of h is equal to f of 1. Since f of 1 is a constant, so as it is does not contain any h, so here f of 1, here f of 1, here f of 1, you can cancel since it is not equal to 0, okay, right. So, therefore, limit h tends to 0, f of minus h is equal to limit h tends to 0, f of h is equal to 1, call it as equation number 1, okay, now. So, wherever it is required, so limit h tends to 0 f of minus h, limit h tends to 0 f of h is equal to 1. So, here f of 1 value is not equal to 0. Why? Because here from this also we can prove. <coughs> so, if you put x is equal to 0 and x is equal to 1, so f of 1 is equal to f of 1 into f of 0. So, f of 0 value also we know, we do not know that is why we can say that f of 1 is not equal to 0, therefore, we can cancel it. Okay. Now, coming to at some arbitrary number at x is equal to a, let us find out the left hand side limit, right hand side limit. So, therefore, limit left hand side limit I am finding LHL that is equal to limit h tends to sorry x tends to a minus f of x. So, this is equal to limit h tends to 0 a minus h. Limit h tends to 0, a minus h, f of, of course, f of. So, according to the definition f of x plus y, so this is equal to limit x tends to 0, f of a into f of minus h. So, here f of a minus h, we have up used this concept. Here f of a is a constant, so let us take it outside. So, f of a into limit x tends to 0, f of minus h. 
limit h tends to 0 f of minus h value is equal to how much 1 this is equal to f of a okay now similarly we can find out the right hand side limit r h l that is equal to limit x tends to a plus f of x right hand side limit at x is equal to a so we will continue like this so limit uh, h tends to 0 f of a plus h so limit h tends to 0 f of a into f of h f of a is a constant limit h tends to 0 f of h value is equal to 1 so this is equal to 1 into f of a this is equal to f of a so LHL value is f of a right hand side our limit is also f of a both are equal understand so at x is equal to a so f of x is equal to f of a therefore so we have limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a limit extends to a f of x is equal to f of a so from this we conclude that so that means here put x is equal to a y is equal to 0 so f of a is equal to f of a into f of 0 like that we will get that okay now so i hope that you enjoyed this problem so it, if it is continuous at x is equal to 1 it is continuous for all x we proved it okay so i hope that you understand this uh, calculation so let us move to next problem welcome to this problem let f of x is equal to log of 1 plus x whole to the power of 1 plus x minus x by x square then find the value of f of 0 so that f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0 okay now solution so it is given that f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0 continuous at x is equal to 0 means what immediately we can limit write down f of limit extends to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0 so limit extends to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0 we have okay now so that means what f of 0 is equal to that means we have to find out the value of f of 0 only f of 0 is equal to limit x tends to 0 f of x so that is equal to limit x tends to 0 means what so limit x tends to 0 f of x is given as here log x to the power of a log x to the power of a a log x so we can write it as a 1 plus x into log of 1 plus x minus x by x square okay now so if you substitute x is equal to 0 so we will get 0 by 0 form we get so then what we will do so we will do the l hospital rule so let us do the l hospital rule so limit x tends to 0 so this is a 1 plus x into u into v formula okay so 1 plus x into log of log x means what 1 by x that is a 1 plus x plus log of 1 plus x into 1 plus x derivative is equal to how much 1 so here 1 plus 0 1 minus x derivative is 1 divided by x square derivative is 2x okay now so any more cancellations we will take so here 1 plus x 1 plus x cancel here 1 is there 1 and minus 1 plus 1 minus 1 also gets cancelled so this is equal to how much we will get so limit x tends to 0 this is a 1 by 2 take outside so this is a log of 1 plus x by x log of and still again we are getting 0 by 0 form so let us apply the l hospital rule so this is a 1 by 2 into limit x tends to 0 this is a 1 by 1 plus x by 1 as x value approaches to 0 1 by 1 plus x value approaches to 1 so ultimately this is 1 by 2 therefore final answer is 1 by 2 so very very easy problem this is so i hope that you understand this solution let us move to next problem welcome to this problem if f of x is a continuous function for all real values of x for all real values of x it is continuous that means it is everywhere it is a continuous function just like f of x is equal to x square f of x is equal to sin x f of x is equal to cos x f of x is equal to e power x they are all continuous for all x belongs to real numbers okay now such a type of function and satisfies one relation is given in terms of f of x for all x belongs to r then find the value of f of root 3 okay now right first of all you observe this uh, function generally 
in problems it is it will be given that f of x is equal to it will be given very clearly but in this problem it is not given like that it is uh, given in just like a relation okay now we have to write uh, f of x as a subject so that means f of x is equal to something you have to write down so from this uh, write down here first to do that that thing so here it is a uh, x square plus uh, f of x into 2 so that is a uh, x into f of x minus 2x plus 2 root 3 minus root 3 minus 3 root 3 f of x is equal to 0 from this see here here f of x is there minus root 3 f of x is there so x minus root 3 f of x is equal to x minus root 3 f of x is equal to take the remaining all terms to uh, left hand side so this is a minus x square plus 2x minus 2 root 3 plus 3 so from this f of x is equal to x square minus 2x plus 2 root 3 minus 3 by so this is equal to root 3 minus x since it is a quadratic uh, function quadratic uh, expression x square coefficient should be positive that's why positive negative positive negative here x minus root 3 i wrote root 3 minus x okay now so this is one of the uh, this type of problem where generally if it is given f of x is equal to like that no problem but sometimes a function will be given uh, in that uh, expression in an algebraic equation type then we have to write it like that now over now coming to the problem so it is given that the function is continuous for all real values of x that means at x x is equal to 5 of x is continuous x is equal to 3 continuous x is equal to 2 continuous like that x is equal to root 3 it also it is continuous x is equal to root 3 also it is continuous okay now that means f of root 3 is equal to limit extends to root 3 f of x understand so limit extends to root 3 f of x is equal to f of root 3 that also right so it is since it is continuous at for all x means what it is continuous x is equal to root 3 also so this is equal to limit extends to root 3 now write down here x square minus 2x plus 2 root 3 minus 3 by so this is a root 3 minus x right so wherever x is there substitute root 3 root 3 whole square 3 minus 2 root 3 minus 3 root 3 whole square means 3 so root 3 whole square means 3 minus 3 cancel minus 2 root 3 plus root 3 cancel 0 by 0 form you will get okay now so 0 by 0 form means l hospital so limit x tends to root 3 x square derivative is a 2x minus 2x derivative is minus 2 by minus 1 by minus 1 understand this root 3 derivative minus 1 so substitute wherever x is equal to root 3 so this is a 2 root 3 minus 2 by minus 1 2 minus 2 root 3 2 minus 2 root 3 understand this so 2 minus 2 root 3 is the so f of root 3 value is 2 minus 2 root 3 otherwise 2 of 1 minus root 3 that is the solution for this so from this problem what I have to observe here for all real values of x means x is equal to root 3 it is continuous okay now so i hope that you understand this solution so let us move to next problem welcome to this problem so here f of x is equal to a plus 3 cos x by x square where x less than 0 b tan of pi b tan of pi into pi by step of x plus 3 step of x plus 3 here where x greater than 0 the function is defined like that if it is x less than 0 the function is defined like this if x is greater than or equal to 0 the function is defined like this but here observe here it is not a thing of ordinary bracket it is step of x plus 3 if f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0 then find the values of a and b of course where that is greatest integer function okay let us see now continue the solution it is given that f of x is continuous at x is equal to 0 that means what limit x tends to 0 f of x is equal to f of 0 that is the data given that means limit x tends to 0 f of x means what left hand side limit so that implies limit x tends to 0 minus f of x is same as limit x tends to 0 plus f of x is same as f of 0 okay now 
uh, let us continue the solution first we will take the left hand side limit so that is so f of 0 minus this is equal to limit extends to 0 minus f of x this is a limit extends to 0 minus f of x means what x less than 0 so this is equal to a plus 3 cos x by x square understand limit extends to 0 a plus 3 cos x by x square okay as if you substitute x is equal to 0 you will get a plus 3 cos 0 is 1 a plus 3 by x square is infinity we will get okay now so to limit exist to limit exist the numerator to limit exist the nu numerator a 3 cos x should be equal to 0 if it is 0 then 0 by something you will get the 0 be non at a finite value you will get 0 that means what so as x tends to 0 cos 0 is equal to limit x tends to 0 cos 0 is 1 therefore a value is equal to how much minus 3 a value we got minus 3 let us substitute a value minus 3 here so this is equal to will we get the limit value 0 minus so this is minus 3 plus 3 cos x by x square okay now so now let us apply the l hospital rule so this is equal to limit x tends to 0 this is a minus 3 derivative is 0 3 cos x minus 3 sin x by x square derivative 2x as x tends to 0 minus okay so minus 3 by 2 will come outside sin x by x value is equal to 1 so this is equal to minus 3 by 2 so put it like that so f and left hand side limit is equal to minus 3 by 2 a value already we got that minus 3 okay let us find out the b value by taking the uh, rhl okay now so rhl is equal to right hand side limit is equal to that means what f of 0 plus so limit x tends to 0 plus x greater than or equal to 0 means what you have to write down this value b into tan of pi by step of x plus 3 okay now as yes, we will let us convert it into infinitesimal h so this is equal to limit h tends to 0 b into tan of pi by in place of x we will write down 0 plus h 0 plus h plus 3 step off okay now so this is equal to limit h tends to 0 so let us apply h is equal to 0 there so let us apply h is equal to 0 so this is equal to b into so h plus 0 so therefore this is equal to h is 0 0 plus 3 3 step of 3 is equal to 3 so tan pi by 3 pi by 3 means 60 tan 60 is equal to how much root 3 b into root 3 okay now so this limit value is already given this is equal to how much is equal to minus 3 by 2 so from this we can write it as a uh, minus root 3 by 2 so b value is equal to minus root 3 by 2 so therefore a value is minus root 3 and uh, b value is equal to uh, a value is equal to minus 3 b value is equal to minus root 3 by 2 okay now so i hope that you understand this uh, solution and also i hope that you enjoy today's class with uh, some more problems tomorrow's class i'll stand before you so until then all the best